My name is Mike Myers. I am the owner of Legion Marketing. My expertise is in nightlife. I believe that I know the best and the brightest of everything that's in Las Vegas. I can help you skip the lines, skip the bad spots, basically cut the fat. The Monte Carlo is actually located in between New York, New York and Aria, which was not a great place to be located whenever Aria was under construction for three years. But now that it's actually fully built, it's actually in a fantastic location. The Jabberwockies, who are from the show America's Best Dance Crew, which weren't necessarily the best dancers in America's Best Dance Crew history. However, because they had masks on their face, they're the only ones who could capitalize on their name. So now they can obviously be switched in and out and have substitutes, have days off, whereas all the other dance crews were personalities in and of themselves. Diablos is a great draw. It's outside on the strip. They have live music upstairs, weird bar games downstairs. It's good to watch football games or you know any sort of sporting events. But they also have the Wheel of Death, where you can spin the wheel and you know get weird shots or you know whatever the prize may be. Andres is a great French restaurant. Minus Five is a bar where they bring you in and they give you a fur coat and you go drink inside a freezer. The Pub at Monte Carlo, another clever name, is actually a really, really popular. It's probably the most popular thing at Monte Carlo inside Monte Carlo itself. Not necessarily a destination place. However, if you're staying at the Monte Carlo, you tend to not be the big bottle customer. So they're actually smart in putting the pub in this location. Brand Steakhouse is probably their best restaurant. They have great steaks, actually a pretty inventive menu. Every once in a while they'll go and have a tribute to something. The last thing I attended there was a tribute to bacon. So they had an entire tasting menu, like 12 courses, all dedicated to bacon. Which, I love bacon, although to be perfectly honest, I haven't had bacon since, and that was about a month ago, which I'm sad about.